Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be having a look at this. Uh, now, what is this? It is a piezoelectric buzzer. And what a piezoelectric buzzer does, basically, uh, is it produces sound. And so you write in the code what sort of sound you want it to do. That's terrible. It's supposed to be a musical note. Uh, something like that. So it produces sound uh, based on what you tell it to in the code. Now, uh, they light and they have got a simple construction. So basically, uh, simple construction. So I'm going to draw a little sketch of one down here. So that is the uh, little plastic bit above. Then you can see a little hole. Now inside there is a disc, and that is made from uh, it's made from something called a piezo uh, material. Now uh, piezoelectric materials are either naturally available or man-made, and um, basically, you when subjected to an alternating field, they either stretch or compress um, and in accordance with the frequency of the signal and, and what this does is it produces sound uh, so just based on the frequency that you tell it to in your Arduino code um, so that's uh, the piezo electric buzzer now we're going to wire up the components so today's wiring is very simple. You'll need an Arduino Uno and a breadboard. Uh, you'll need a really small breadboard. You put your buzzer on the breadboard anywhere, pretty much. And you just, well, make sure that the pins are straight on it. Uh, and you stick it in like that. And turn it around. Then you get one wire uh, on the same rev as one pin and you connect it to ground on your Arduino. And you get your other bit where it's connected to, and you attach it to any digital pin pretty much. I'm going to attach it to 11, I think, because I just fancy doing that one. So then that is for wiring. Uh, so you've just got your two there, and then you stick in your buzzer one side to ground, one side to. Uh, Alright guys, so we're going to have a so just start a new sketch, get rid of all this nonsense. Um, now you need to do something called opening a new tab. So what you do for that is you go to this little drop down arrow here, and then you press on new tab, I don't know if that's going to be on your screen or not, but it's the first one here. And then it says name for new file, and I'm just going to call it pitches.h. Alright, and then to get that Okay, this is one way to do it. Go into your examples, go into your digital, go into any of these bottom tone ones, I'm going to press on tone keyboard. Right, then it'll come up with this window, and you go into pictures.h on here, and then you copy all of these. Copy, close it down, paste it into your pictures.h. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the code now. Uh, so, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a void loop on. So, type in void loop, and then there's, uh, I'm going to explain to you what the tone does. So, in a tone, you have three numbers in uh, after commas in a bracket. So, that's all we're going to have to do. Now, this first number here that you're going to put in this bracket is the digital pin that you've attached your piezo buzzer to. We've attached it to 11, so we're going to put 11. The second number that you put in your brackets is the, uh, the, the note. So what frequency you want it to play. So I'm going to start off with 20. And then here, the third number you put uh, in the commas is the duration in milliseconds. So I'm going to have that as 2,000. So I want it to play for two seconds. Okay, and then, uh, that's, in fact, no. Uh, that's going to play forever. I'll change this to void setup. And then, as you do in every program, you also need to have a void loop. So you type void loop, 
Yeah, I have two brackets. Who did it? Okay, now we're gonna upload that to uh, our Arduino. And of course, you have to save it. So just save it as something like a melody. Oh, well, I don't know. Oh, there's already one called Melody. I'm gonna call it something like Melody. And then it'll upload to your board and all of that stuff. Thanks for watching this Arduino tutorial and I will see you next time.